Hey Pinksters, today we will be discussing how to suppress scientific notation in Python. Python represents very small or very large floating point numbers in their scientific notation by default. Suppressing the scientific notation represents these numbers in their decimal format. So let's have a look at a floating point number and its scientific notation. So as you can see that this right here on the screen is an example of a floating point number and this is how it can be represented in its scientific notation. So let's say that you have this number at your disposal, which is represented in its scientific notation. So how are you going to suppress it such that it is represented in its decimal format? So that is exactly what we will be learning in this video. So I will be guiding you through as many as four solutions to solve this problem. But before we dive into the solutions, let us have a look at a scenario which explains when we get a scientific notation of a number. So let's say that this is a given number, which is 2.5 divided by 1 million. So this is going to yield us a very small floating point value. Hence, it will be represented in its scientific notation when we execute this code. So let us go ahead and execute this code and let's have a look. And there we go. As you can see that this right here on the screen is the answer to our code and it is represented in its scientific notation. But this is not what we want. Instead, we want the answer to be represented in its decimal format. So if you are working on a relatively newer version of Python, that is Python 3.6 or above, then the simplest solution to this problem is to use a string literal syntax. So let's have a look at the syntax. So this is how the syntax looks. This is nothing but an F string or string literal within which you are going to specify a precision and the format in which you want your output. Here you can see that we have dot NF where N represents the precision, whereas F represents a floating point number. So let's use an F string within our print statement. And instead of directly printing the number, let us use couple of curly braces dot and now let's say that we want the precision to be seven that is seven places after the decimal point and f represents that we want to get the output as a floating point value okay now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code and there we go as you can see that now when we executed our code the output was represented in the decimal format so this is how you can use a string literal to represent the scientific notation of a number in its decimal format. Now another approach to convert the scientific notation to its decimal format is to format the output as a floating point string with the help of the format method. So what is format? Format is a built-in function in Python that returns a formatted string. It formats the specific values and inserts them in the placeholder of the string. So that was it for the theory. Now let us have a look at how we can use the format method to convert the scientific notation to its decimal format. In order to represent the scientific notation of the output in its decimal format with n places following the decimal point, you have to use the following syntax, which is str.format. And within format, you have to pass the number. Now what's str? str represents something like this. So as you can see that we have curly braces and within the curly braces we have dot nf wherein n denotes the precision or the number of places we want after the decimal point and f once again represents that the string is a floating point string. So let's put this into action in our code. And inside our print statement, let's use the curly braces dot and let's say we want a precision of seven and f dot format and within format we have to pass our number. So that's it. And this right here is our string or floating point string. So let's put it within curly braces and there we go. Now let us go ahead and execute this piece of code. And as you can see that now the output is represented in its decimal format. So this is how you can use the format method to convert scientific notation of a number to its decimal format. Now another approach to format the output 
in order to get the output in its decimal format to use the modulo operator to format your string. The modulo operator allows you to format a string object in Python. However, it is only recommended to use the modulo operator to format the output if you are using an older version of Python. Conversion specifiers like modulo f and modulo s are used in the format string as placeholders. So these specifiers dictate how the modulo will format the values. For example, modulo f means you want to get the output string as floating point value. Now let's understand how we can use a modulo operator to convert the scientific notation in its decimal format. So the syntax that you have to use is modulo dot nf. Here n once again represents the precision while f represents that you want to get the output as a floating point value. So let's go ahead and do that. All you have to do here is within the print statement use modulo dot and let's say that we want a precision of 7 f which means we want the output to be a floating point value and then once again modulo and then the number itself and that's it. Now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code and there we go. As you can see that now once again we have the output in its decimal format. So this is how you can use the modulo operator to format the output and get it in its decimal format. Now until now we have been providing the precision in each of our approaches. But what if you do not want to specify the precision? In that case you have an option and that is to use the numpy library. So numpy provides a function by the name format underscore float underscore positional that formats a floating point scalar. It then returns the decimal representation of the floating point value passed. Now you can also use an optional trim argument within the function such that whenever trim is set to a hyphen, it trims trailing zeros and any trailing decimal point if not needed. So this is exactly what we are going to use. So as of now, let's say that this is the given piece of code and when we execute it, we get an output represented in its scientific format. Now we will be using the numpy library. So we have to import it. So import numpy as np. Okay. We have now successfully imported the numpy library. Then we have the number itself. Now all we have to do is to use the format underscore float underscore positional function from the numpy library. So within our print statement, let's go ahead and use np dot format underscore float underscore positional and within this we will be passing couple of arguments. The first argument is the number itself and the second argument is trim such that we will pass an hyphen to trim. So what this does is trims all the trailing zeros and any trailing decimal point if not needed. So that is the function of the trim argument here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code to find out if this works or not. And there we go. As you can see that we have successfully represented the output in its decimal format. So this is how you can use the numpy library to represent scientific notation of a number in its decimal format. With that we come to the end of this discussion. I hope this helped you. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. Thank you.